Okay, here it is, video two of our Caribou Gear game bag destruction test. Hi, I'm Ted Ramirez with Caribou Gear Outdoor Equipment Company. In this episode, we'll recap the highlights of video one, showing the Go Hunt team conducting a strength test on the Caribou Gear game bag fabric and lock loops. So, let's have a look. Caribou Gear, Muley. Seven, eight. Oh, yeah, you gotta Go. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. Oh! <laughs> well, gosh that's dang. A, there we go. All she holds. We got a break. So the bottom started. That looked like a toe crusher to me. Well, the video showed the extreme weight limitations of the game bag lock loops and fabric durability. Okay, here's a recap of video one when we maxed out the weight limitations on our scale and game bag cord. So let's go ahead and check that out. All right, I'll be honest. We were surprised that the bag even maxed out the scale and didn't tear the bag well before the 300 pound mark was reached. This next video is truly, well, I'm not gonna give it away, but let's just go ahead and have a look. Oh, we now maxed out the scale. I think that was actually the scale that made. <laughs> Everything else was fine. Nothing gave way. It honestly doesn't even look like 300 pounds was in this quarter bag. Wow, okay, here's video two with our reinforced game bag cord. We doubled up paracord and purchased an 800 pound digital scale. This way we can be sure the force of the weight is on the bag fabric and stitching. By the way, we will be producing video three using the big moose quarter bag and that's gonna be the 28 by 60, followed by a combined condensed version of three videos. The long version of the first three videos was edited to show the actual sequence of the scale and honest events. Okay, we just hit 200 and it shut off. All right, so we just had some technical difficulties. Our scale actually turned off, so we turned it back on. Um, we're now at zero again. It was roughly around 200 pounds that we're at. The water level is here, nothing else changed. So we're gonna start this um, just where it is now and we'll just add the weight to it. So let's see. So now we're roughly 210 pounds. Water level is here. All right, so we are roughly at 300 pounds right now in the Caribou Gear game bag. Um, it's kind of tough to see um, where the water level is at right now. Uh, still holding strong. We're now at 100, roughly 300 pounds. So let's push it to the max here and see what it can hold. 305. Three ninety eight. 
We now just hit 400 pounds. As you can see, the water is overflowing, so it's starting to drop, but this thing is full. Um, it's expanding. It looks like a water balloon. Stitching, everything else is, I can't see any bursting of the seams or anything like that at all. Stitching holding strong. I think it may be safe to say we should be able to try a 28 by 60. This one is our elk uh, quarter bag from our um, elk magnum pack series. But I think we should try the 28 by 60 and see how much weight that can hold. Maybe we can get it over 400 pounds or so. And All right, guys. Well, I don't know what else we can do with this one. Um, as you see it here, it maxed out at approximately 400 plus pounds. Um, and the reason we didn't go anymore is just because I can't hold any more water. So at this point, um, as you can see here, caribou gear game bags are tough. The stitching's holding up just fine and it's holding 400 plus pounds and it's pretty amazing. Beat on it until it breaks. How hard am I gonna hit it? Hard. All right guys, so we decided instead of just dumping it out and ending it like that, we're gonna have a little fun with it. So we're gonna try to break the bag. So what we decided is I'm gonna swing at it until it breaks and see what happens. So let's see what we can do. <laughs> it broke a chunk of the wood off. Right there we have a little hole. <laughs> That's crazy. Dude on the front. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what else we can do with this one. I think we're done. I mean, the water's still up to here. So there's still just under 300 pounds in there. Double quick to sweat. Yeah, it was not easy. To be honest, I thought it was. It had no give at the seam at all. No problem with it at all. It really is amazing. All right, so what we decided to do is we're gonna turn the hose back on, uh, try to fill it all the way to the top, and if it still holds, we're gonna throw a brick at it. As you can see, the hole is still in the game bag, so we're gonna see what happens. And we are now about to attempt to throw a brick at it. We set. Shit. <laughs> All right, maybe we can do it again. That bounced back. 
a lot farther than I thought. Okay. So where are we at right now? We're at 185 pounds on top of the added weight. We are, from our last one that we filled it up, we're definitely over 400 pounds right now, and we're throwing a brick at it. Finally, um, after filling it up to 400 pounds, beating it with the stick, breaking the stick about three times. After breaking the stick, we did puncture a hole in it. But then after that, we took another stick. We we're beating it at the seams. Um, we're beating it at the puncture one that we had. Um, we took multiple whacks at it and it still held strong. So then after that, we decided to fill it back up to approximately um, the fill level of 400 pounds um, plus, and then I threw a brick at it about six times until it finally gave way. Um, as long as you're not throwing bricks at your <laughs> your quarter bag or anything like that, it's gonna stand up. That's pretty impressive. All right, well, after all of that, um, I'd say that's about it. We, It's strong, it's very strong. Um, right now we're going to try, uh, we're going to attempt the 2860, see if we can fill that one up, and if we can, we're going to have some fun like we did with this one, so let's see what we can do. That's about it for this bag though. As always, like us, join us, and follow on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.